The city of Park Falls wouldn't be what it is today without its mill. It's what originally brought white settlers to the area. The mill closed last year and it has had far reaching consequences, including the city's water utility. News Watch 12's Matt Weaver has followed this developing story and joins us live in the studio with more. Matt. Dan, with the loss of the Park Falls Mill as the water customer, the city faces two main problems. How will the city make for up for the lost revenue and how will the city pay for its past major improvements in water infrastructure? When you lose your biggest customer, there's going to be rate increases. When the Park Falls Mill shut down a second time last year, it left 100 employees out of work. As a major production plant, it also cut water usage in Park Falls by 75%. We have a system that is designed without industry for a town of probably about 20 to 25,000 people just because of that mill. About 2,000 people live in Park Falls. According to Babalik, the DNR required the city's water system to be expanded in the early 2000s. The city had reservations. The reason the city was pushing back on it is that the mill probably would never need that amount of water again. When the mill closed, the city was left with a debt of four to five million dollars for the project. We have this huge system that we have to pay for and we have debts associated with the project we were forced to do and now our largest customer isn't drawing water. Earlier this month, Governor Evers awarded a $3.75 million grant that will cover the infrastructure costs of the expansion. But according to Bablock, there is more than $1 million in debt left over from the well. Having that uh, paid down or some way relieved would bring the total rate increase down substantially. For now, with no mill to pay those expenses, the cost falls into the public's hands. According to Bablock, the city cannot turn off these pipes because they are part of the city's central system. Doing that, even though it's inefficient and wasteful, is the only thing that we can do and that we're legally allowed to do to make sure that residents don't find themselves without water in the middle of winter. Bablock says that the best immediate solution is to bring industries in to use the water that would otherwise go down the drain. We are asking Every person that knows about this stuff, what is the path that we need to go down to keep rates as low as possible, but also not hamper our future abilities. In Park Falls, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12.